Good lord, that class could not have gone slower. Nope. I caught none of what the professor was trying to say. It's actually a talent to make something as interesting as draconic history as dull as he does. <laughs> yeah, might as well have just skipped class today. So, I haven't seen you around lately, other than for an hour or two after class. Is everything okay? Wait, what? What? You have a girlfriend? Since when? Who is she? Does she have a class with you? What does she look like? Is she cute? Ugh, dude, you can't just tell me that you went through an entire arc in the time that we hung out last and not give me any details. Okay, fine. Tell me this, at least. Are you happy? Hmm, good. Glad to hear it, but it's about time that you got into a relationship. Yeah, I always thought you'd be good partner material. Mm-hmm. So, does she go here, or... She does? Who is she? Maybe we could all go out and get coffee sometime. Oh? Lee? Yeah, I, I know her. She's the telepath, right? Bet she doesn't let you get away with anything. What? Wait, what do you mean she can't read your... Oh, there she is. Huh. Uh, that a friend of hers? I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help on this. I appreciate you so much. Of course. Let's catch up soon, okay? Well, I'll see you soon, okay? Hey, they seem close. What? Uh-oh. <sighs> oh, hey! Are you okay? D did your class go badly or something? I... You just missed me. That's why you appeared out of nowhere and dragged me away. <laughs> well, I missed you too. Hmm? Who? Oh, yeah, that was just a friend I made from the beginning of the semester. He's... Never been away from his hometown before, and got lost trying to find his way. I, um... Well, I accidentally read his thoughts when I first saw him, and felt really bad, because it just seemed like he was going to break down and cry at any moment, so I lent him a hand, and we've been friends ever since. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Maybe, if I caught an inkling of any romantic notions going on in his head, I would have promptly ended our friendship. You know I'm obsessed with you, and you only. <laughs> you're cute when you're jealous, but you needn't be. You are always the only person on my mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, we weren't talking much about anything really. He's just helping me with a thing. Yes, a thing. <laughs> it's nothing crazy, baby, I promise. <sighs> I'm starving. Let's head home. We can order a pizza and binge watch something. <laughs> and possibly more. Pudding is awesome. Did you make it? Lee did? Well, you're lucky as hell, that's for sure. Uh, hello? You there? You've been staring daggers at the conservatory since we sat down. What's going on over there? Your girlfriend's class is there? Uh, did the two of you get into a fight or something? Then why are you so... Bleh. I don't know, you just 
seem very agitated right now. If something happened, then the two of you should talk about it. But glaring at a building isn't going to fix anything. Hmm. Oh, is that her over there? Looks like she's talking to the same guy. Well, hey! Bye. Oh, hey! What? Whoa, wait, what? I... Uh, please stop yelling at me. If you have something you want to talk about, we can talk about it, but just... Don't make a scene. I... <sighs> Come here. What's going on? Oh, come on. We both know it's not nothing. You never get mad, and when you do, you never yell. At least not at me. I can't read your mind like I can with everyone else. So if there's something going on, you need to talk to me about it. I... <laughs> You're the one who stormed over here and yelled at me suddenly, and... You just have nothing to say now? But I don't know! Clearly, I did something that upset you, but I can't work through things with you if you don't tell me what I did. <sighs> Please say something. Anything. <sighs> Fine. How about this? I'll go home for the night, and when you're ready to talk about it, you can come over, okay? I don't... I don't want to upset you more than I already have, so just... Just let me know when you want to talk, okay? I love you. I'll see you soon. And existence of Mary's magics should not be a catalyst for the dimensions of science. Science, in many respects, considered the non-magical community's answer to magic. What? <laughs> no one. <sighs> what am I thinking? If there were someone here, I would have been able to read their thoughts. doing? What do you mean this is my fault? I didn't make you break into my room now, did I? I had it coming? What does that even mean? Look, just let me up and we can talk about this, okay? Let's just talk. No? But... I I'm so confused right now. Are you mad at me or not? What on earth did I do that would warrant you to break into my room? I feel like this is something I would do to you, not the other way around. Oh. Oh, baby. You're confused as to why you decided that this would be a good idea, huh? No. Oh. Come here, sweetheart. It's okay. I completely understand. <laughs> of course I do. I tricked you into believing that I wasn't obsessed with you when we first met, didn't I? I think... I think that you are just as obsessed with me as I am with you, aren't you? <laughs> of course that doesn't scare me. I love it. Hmm. Maybe. It might be crazy to everyone else, but... I don't really care. I don't care that no one else can understand. I don't care that other people might look at us sideways. We're the only ones that matter, baby. The only ones that count. It doesn't matter what other people think of our love, because we know that what we have is special. <laughs> I may be crazy, but... You are just as crazy after the stunt you pulled. <laughs> Let's be crazy together. Let's be crazy for each other, my love. So, 
You want to tell me why you've been so upset with me recently? <laughs> I don't need mind reading powers to know that you're mad at me about something. Hmm. Come on, talk to me. I quite literally cannot read your mind, so please. If it's something we can work out, let's work it out. As much as I love finding you in my room after a long day, I'd prefer it if you came in through the front door and not the window. Wait. You were jealous of my friend? The one that, that you saw me talking to today? And for the last few days? <laughs> my love. He's not my friend. Or, well, he is my friend, but not what you think. Um, let's just say he's my friend that I go to whenever I need something and vice versa. And the stuff that we need is, well, unorthodox. <laughs> no, baby, not for that. Well, for instance, if he wanted to know if his boyfriend was cheating, he would ask me to read his mind. And if I wanted a signed poster of my love's favorite band that hasn't gone on tour in ages, he'd be able to pull some strings. Happy early birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's why we've been talking so much these last few days. I know you were gutted when they cancelled their tour, so I thought that this would be a worthy consolation gift. How'd I do? <laughs> it's alright, my love. I know how... heady this stuff can get. How... irrational and sentimental and... crazy... one can get when not-so-kind thoughts pop into their head about their partner, but know this. I love you. I'm completely and entirely obsessed with you. The idea of doing anything to harm you, intentionally or unintentionally, quite literally makes me want to break out into hives. I only have eyes for you, my love. Only you. Plus, that friend of mine, he's a bit like me in his devotion to his partner. Or I suppose, a bit like us. <laughs> yes, that is true. We do need friends who understand us. <laughs> oh, come here. Give me a hug. <sighs> I love you. I'm sorry for worrying you so much these last few days. I just really wanted this to be a surprise. Mm -hmm. But no surprise is worth upsetting you, so... Hmm. How about... I make it up to you? Hmm? Why don't you stay the night? I always end up in yours anyway, so this'll be a nice switch up. I can make you dinner, or we can order something and watch a movie. <laughs> or that, too. Yeah. 